Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're interviewing an INTJ about the fear of not having a purpose. Now, many of you might have a fear of not having a purpose. Many feel pressure to achieve something amazing. Let's see what the INTJ says and let's think about what it means to want to strive to greatness. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. And let's get on with the video. Hey, sorry, do you like Harry Potter? Yes. Can I guess what house you are in? The, the Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me a time when you showed courage or did something brave? Mm. Or risky? Lately, I showed courage. I think that every day I try to show a bit of courage. Just I, I, I don't remember the, the moment or the what did I do, but I, I really try to always to push myself to be a bit more courageous. Okay, and what do you do to get yourself to do things that are difficult or scary? Sometimes life itself pushes me, yeah. and sometimes uh, trying to think about uh, what is happening and just being better, trying to be better, trying to be better. Are you a bit of an extrovert? No, I'm more of an introvert. Oh really? Okay. So, uh, for you, is it about getting out of your comfort zone? Or yes. Yeah. So that's how you see yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what do you say, uh, what is, what's something that scares you? Uh, passing life without no, without knowing what is my destiny, my objectives, my that that is one of the things that would, would scare me more, huh. or pain, suffering, normal things. Right. Okay. Yeah. So not knowing what your purpose is. Yes. Do you know what your purpose is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Can I guess that you are a little bit more of an intuitive type, a daydreamer, yes, yes, yes. big imagination? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you write or create yes, any stories? Yes. Yeah, what mm -hmm. do you write? Well, I, I, sometimes I like to write poems or, or things that I just uh, pensamientos no? and thoughts and, uh, and uh, that's it. Music, music, I love music. Ah, so you also write music? Yes. I, what I, kind I, of instrument do you play? Piano. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes yeah. or more? Jazz or? Yes, or what kind of music? Classical? Oh, classical and a bit of a jazz. Mm. Uh, learning, still learning, okay. always learning. Yeah. Do you ever perform? Uh, no, 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 I, I, I'm not performing. I'm studying. Would that scare you to go up and do that? Yes, yeah. yes it would do. Yes, it would do. Mm. But would it be something that would feel very exciting yes. or exhilarating? Yes, yes. So you would I like to do that? I would like to do that in, a, in, in, in some time, some, some day, mm. when I feel more prepared or feel that I really have to w want to share something. Yeah. Not yet. Are you a bit of a feeling type, more emotional? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, but try, I'm trying to also learn the the rational thing and the rational to be more rational to to let my brain help me and not uh, not disturb me. No, mm. more more. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like your heart gets in the way of you getting Sorry? that thing? Do you feel like your heart or your emotions get in the way of you? Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. 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 In what ways? Sometimes in a good way when I'm intuitive. No, yeah. I think that intuition is. It's always helping us, yeah. and sometimes uh, being too emotional is also it has his uh, the other side, no, of the of the de la, de la moneda, and it's not so nice neither. We yeah. have to a bit of a equilibrium, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a bit more of a spontaneous type as well, a little yes. bit less planned. So, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I like that. Yeah. 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 You sound and you could be an INFP personnel type. INFP, I don't yeah. Know. They are called uh, mediators. They're often artistically inclined. Enjoy music, poetry, I don't know. I would art. That. Yeah, they're they're often considered to be very introspective. Ah. They reflect a lot on themselves, okay, who they I are. Don't know. I don't know. Thank yeah. you for that. I, I will check INFP. Yeah, I initially thought he was an INFP, not an INTJ. So what made me change my mind? First, thinking versus feeling. I thought that his approach and how he spoke about these topics had a logical exactness to him. He searched for perfection in what he did. It wasn't about personal expression and these things didn't seem to be that important to him. For him it genuinely was about mastery of the craft of music. Secondly, judging versus perceiving. Perceiving types tend to have a more playful demeanor, going more in a more fun and spontaneous manner while judging types tend to be more serious and more focused. Never once did he lose track of the conversation. Constantly he kept his eyes and his glaze focused. And he had this serious scowl to him that made him look like he really, really cared about what he was talking about. Like it was really important to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would you say something that, why haven't you gotten started performing and doing things already? Uh, because of uh, perfectionism and a and, uh, lack of consistency in the work. No, I, I think that every day, uh, if you want to achieve anything, you have to 
work a bit, a bit, a bit, and sometimes yeah. I, w I, w I do lots of things in and for a day, be excellent a day, but then be zero the other next day. Yeah. So it's much better for me, uh, I think, that to be more little by little. That's one thing, and, and perfectionism, and also not being uh, prepared, and also a bit of humbleness and saying, oh, I, I should be more prepared, mm. or really want to say something, or try. No, and that's that the mix of these things are. I'm going to do it in the future for sure. But this, this answering the question, that is the reason why, yeah. why I haven't done it yet. What would you say? Where do you think your perfectionism comes from? Uh, from uh, parents' traumas. That would be the answer. Yeah. yeah. So is it more emotional or more logical? Is it like uh, logically, logically comparing yourself to other people, is or is it, it more emotionally it's like? Emo it's, it is very emotional, but also it's logic. It's a logic because I, I think that you can compare. If if you co if you compare yourself all all life, you won't do nothing. Yeah. Because you you won't. Uh, I don't know. You you will never be as good as you. Yeah. wanted to be no yeah. but uh, that's the that's the rational thing you have to let yourself lose yourself to In to dance <laughs> or whatever <laughs> no but yeah uh, that's a mix it's a, yeah. it's a mix who's your favorite artist mm, as a musician yeah as a musician i would say uh, one of my favorite artists uh, would be o always beethoven beethoven would be always really? for me one of the best of the best of mm. course uh, but i'm into anything i love or this would be one of the best the do best you do you like him because he is objectively the best of the best? No. no because no. you like his style of music and I his personal... Yeah, it's a personal thing. I, love, I like his, his uh, strength in the music, yeah. his imagination in, in lots of uh, variationen, no? uh, his yeah. uh, variations of his music, and his, uh, he, his courage in life. And uh, yeah, that, that would be the persona. Is, uh, for me, it's like a, mon it's like a, a huge, uh, huge uh, semi-god. Would yeah. be uh, Beethoven would be a, se a semi god. Yeah. Mozart would be one of the angels, but Beethoven yeah. is a semi god. Yeah. yeah. So if you started making music yourself, do you think people would like you because you were objectively the best or perfect, or do you no. think that it would be because they related to your music? I think that they would be related for the music, not because I'm the best. No, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think I'm the best, really. No, not not really. Do you feel like you tell stories while playing music? Does it say anything about your mood uh, or? Yes. Your, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. Do you feel like these stories could be useful to other people? Do you think other people, if they heard it, would yes, like? Yes, that would be uh, that would be the aim, no? Because if not, I uh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. If, if 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 I think that everything is should tell something, or even if it's just minimalistic music, only two notes or repetitive music, no? Uh, um, it, it's very subjective. Uh, so, but yes, telling telling something, a mood, something is. Yeah. yeah. Or even silence, no? Silence also also is, is music. John Cage, John Cage. That's true, yeah. So if you wouldn't ever make music mm -hmm. and never would release anything, mm -hmm. do you feel like people would miss out on your stories? No. No? No. A absolutely not. A absolutely not. What? Absolutely not. Because would you say that you're more modest than Mozartim? I'm modest, but I'm objective in my modesty also. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Because, okay, would people have missed out if they haven't heard Beethoven? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what do you feel is the difference between you? Like, why do you uh, feel like people wouldn't have missed out if they heard your music? What would be the difference? Uh, well, thank you for the motivation, really. But I think that uh, for Beethoven, I think that he it was his aim since he was a kid. You no, know, I've, I've done lots of things in my life, and now it's one of my things that I want to do. But it's, it hasn't oh, never been like the thing for me. No. No. What have been some other things you've been doing? I studied law, I studied science politics, theater, business companies, music always, because I started playing when I was, yeah. when I was a kid, writing, but like several different things, yeah. like very dis despair. No? Like, so, you of course, I think I, I, I would love to make music as a, as a, as a composer, yeah. a proper composer. But uh, no, 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 no. I'll say this. Like to me, you sound uh, like a polymath. Polymath. Yeah, a person who is talented in a wide range of areas in life. Uh, thank you very much. Often people think that you know, if you want to be successful in something, you have to dedicate your entire life to it. From when you were a kid, mm -hmm. and you had mm -hmm. to study, and you mm -hmm. had to be. Uh, but that's not true. Actually, what you've, everything you've done so far in your life has led up to this point yes. where you are today. Yes. Yes. Which means that all those experiences are things that you're going to carry away yeah. in your music yeah. or in whatever you choose to do, right? Mm -hmm. Which yeah. means that whenever you do these things, you, what you create is unique. Mm -hmm. Beethoven would never have been able to think of creating that because he had never studied law and he had never understood politics and he wouldn't understand.
understand how these things could translate mm -hmm. to the music that you create and to the stories true. that you tell, true. right? True. True. Also in your poetry and how you true. write, right? True. So, true. isn't it uh, something to feel proud of that you've done yes. so much and yes. that you have so many different yes. skills? Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah. It's really nice talking to you, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good luck with good everything. Luck. Many people feel pressure of expectations of desire for realizing some kind of vis vision. But don't mistake purpose for ambition. We should all seek to live our purpose, but your purpose is not to become successful or famous. And that's where I think I went wrong in this discussion. Instead, I would like to encourage all of you to search what your purpose is, regardless of the goals that you could overcome or the things that you could achieve. What are intrinsic standards that you can hold for yourself to hold yourself accountable to? And how can you avoid getting caught up in a more societal comparison where you try to match up to and be as good as other people?